Hey guys, it's Thea. So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A for you guys because I haven't done a Q&A video for four months, which is ridiculous. It was a Christmas Q&A and obviously that was absolutely ages ago, so I'm doing another one for you guys today. This is a really exciting video because it's a collab with the Collabway winner. Her channel name is OK Lucy. She has a really lovely channel. She only has a couple of videos up so far, but if you subscribe, I'm sure she'll upload more and she has some really nice videos and she's such a lovely person. So go and subscribe to the Collabway winner who will be linked down below and watch her video too. So I asked on Instagram for some questions and I'm going to be answering as many as I possibly can. At the moment I currently have 1,262 comments which is crazy so obviously I can't answer all of your questions but I will try to answer as many as I possibly can. Also just before I start in case any of you are wondering the lipstick I'm currently wearing is the Avon lipstick in peach flatters it's one of their matte ones and it's really really nice so I just thought I'd show you which lipstick I'm wearing before I get loads of comments in the questions I just thought loads of questions in the comments um I just thought I'd show you this now but without further ado let's get into the Q&A okay so the first question is from lib.prentice and she asked which options I'm taking at school so I've been asked this a lot of times my GCSE options I'm currently in year nine so I needed to choose my options so the ones I took were obviously maths English um, are obvious ones that you need and also science but I took double science instead of triple science and then I went for geography textiles business and media so um, yeah there's quite a few options there but they're all kind of creative and things that I like to do instead of like, um, I don't know, I wanted to try some different things. Textiles is definitely my main GCSE, I adore textiles so much, so they're the options I decided to take because they're the things that I really enjoy and I think they'll help me in life because obviously media, I love doing things like this. Um, geography, I just think it's more important than history because in my opinion, um, history is in the past and it doesn't really matter as much as things that are happening currently, but that's just my opinion. I know people are really split between geography and history. Business I also think would be really important because I would love to have my own business or company in the future um, So I feel like that was quite an obvious one for me to take and I think that's pretty much it so yeah they're the options that I've taken Kate with four T's and two underscores said if you could go anywhere on holiday um, Where would it be and why? For some reason at the moment I've really really wanted to go to Greece I just think it sounds like an amazing place to go to or Italy or somewhere like that that's really different um, because we always go to Spain and I love Spain but I would love to go somewhere more adventurous and kind of different to what I'm used to so something like that would be incredible and I'd also really like to go to America but I feel like that's kind of far and I don't know right now it's like Greece or Italy Natalia underscore Louisa says, have you ever been horse riding? Yes, I have. Um, I can't remember how old I was, but probably like 10 or something. I had a horse riding party, which was really cute. And fun story, it absolutely tipped it down. And it's literally, my birthday is June the 17th, which is next month. So excited, by the way. And it was tipping it down. We were riding these horses and it was just, it was just, it was just a bit tragic, okay? But I have. Alicia McGiverin, I think that's how you say it, said how do you make a YouTube channel without your friends at school making fun of it? I have been through it. I think everyone that has YouTube goes through people being mean to them. I have had a lot of issues with it, but I've, I've got them all sorted out. I don't care when people say things about it because this is what I like to do, this is what I want to do, and I don't care if people make fun of it because no one can stop me from doing it. I like doing it, so that's what I'm going to do. This is one of them topics that really, really annoys me and gets me going because no one makes fun of someone for playing football or for doing a sport that they like or doing crafts or something. No one does that, so why do people think it's okay to make fun of people that do YouTube videos? Ugh, I don't know, it just really, really annoys me, so just do it, it's fine. Don't care what people say, just completely ignore them because that's what I do. I say nothing back to them and change the subject, so yeah. You do it, don't care about anyone else. Holly.lolly12 says, what's your favorite high-end makeup brand? Definitely Urban Decay. I think the quality is so nice and they have a really nice variety of things and the ranges that they come out with are lovely. I really, really wanted to get the Alice Through the Looking Glass eyeshadow palette, but it was all out of stock and to be honest, I couldn't really afford it. So <laughs> Amy Wilson underscore X said, would you rather not be able to sleep for the rest of your life or not be able to use lip balm? Definitely, I'd rather sleep than use lip balm because I think that's, kind of a little more important so I'd rather not be able to use lip balm 
underscore Sophie Angel XX underscore said, did you used to do gymnastics? I used to do gymnastics for seven years and then I just kind of like got a bit bored of it. I wasn't really learning as much as I wanted to and I wasn't really enjoying it. So unfortunately I stopped and now I don't do any sports. So if you can think of any fun sports that I could try out, then leave them down below because I really need to do something. But I can't find anything I enjoy as much um, and that's kind of around my area. So leave some suggestions down below because I'd love to start doing a sport or something. A lot of people have asked me who my inspirations were and my favourite YouTubers so I'm going to kind of count them as the same one because I didn't have like an actual inspiration that inspired me to start doing YouTube but my favourite channels are obviously Zoe from Zoella, um, I really enjoy watching Gabby, I think her channel is just called Gabby but Velvet Ghost, my channel's kind of based off of hers so like my thumbnails and stuff I took inspiration from her for them and I also adore Kathleen Light's videos, I just she's so gorgeous and yeah they're kind of my favorite youtubers slash inspirations and so many people ask that question so i don't have just one name i saw a question earlier and i'm looking for it to see who who left it because it was a really good idea and i thought like the perfect answer but i can't find it i'm still trying to look for this comment uh... okay so i can't find the person that left the comment but it was if you had to live in any shop for two weeks which shop would it be? And I was thinking about this and I definitely think it would be John Lewis because John Lewis is absolutely massive and the one near me, it has like beds, it has like kitchen layouts, like fake kitchen so you, you can see like the, the style and the design of it. It has food, it has clothes, it has makeup and beauty and it just has everything that you need to live on. So I would definitely choose John Lewis plus it's massive so it would be really fun just to explore and uh, see what's there. The underscore Leah said, will you ever need braces? I'm actually going to the orthodontics on the 25th of May to see if I qualify for braces and my normal dentist thinks that I definitely will. So yeah, I'll probably be getting braces soon and if I do, let me know down below if you want like a full brace experience thing and like vlog of me getting all my braces and things like that. Um, let me know if you wanna see that because I don't know whether to do it or not. Um, but if you think it will be helpful to you, then let me know and yeah, as I said, I probably will be getting them. Sophie and Bath Bombs and Candles said, do you live in England? If so, where do you purchase Revo's Lip Smackers extra, <laughs> etc? I can't find them. So yes, I do live in England and I get Revo's from, all of my Revo's were personally from Trades With People and Swaps, but you can get them from Amazon. I think they're quite pricey, but you can't really get them anywhere else. Lip Smackers you can find in Claire's, Accessorize, and that's pretty much the only places I can find them, but just online as well. Pocket bags I get from eBay and yeah that's that's pretty much that. Kazi Wu I think it's pronounced says what type of makeup could you not live without? Definitely mascara. I have the straightest, shortest, least amount of eyelashes ever and I hate them so much so mascara literally makes a massive difference to my face so definitely that. Makeup in squares said tips about mi 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 middle school crush. I never go out with boys or anything, so I wouldn't know, and I don't really... The phone's ringing, do you mind? Anyway, don't mind the phone. I, I don't know, just kind of be cool around them, get kind of closer to them, um, but not friend zoning. Get closer to them, but like, I, I don't know. Be, 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 be friends, talk to each other. Twin Am said, this is random, but what do you eat for breakfast? rice krispies and on that note i'm gonna end this video i really really do hope that you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give it a massive thumbs up and comment down below i don't know just comment and give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already also remember to check out okay lucy her channel is down below i don't know what that was i love you all so much and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys